Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to present for you the Mandela and Miritas in a very short way. So let's start with uh, Mendel. Okay. Mendel or Gregor Mendel is the first person who explained the law of inheritance by using experiments. So because of this, we assume Mendel as the father of genetics or the father of modern genetics. Full name of the Fuller, Gregor Mendel. So Gregor Mendel lived uh, between 1882 up to 1884. He was the first person uh, to explain the inheritance in a systemic way and also formulate the law of inheritance. So how Mendel now explained the law of inheritance experimentally? So in order to do this experiment, he chose the pea plant or the garden pea plants. Why choose this pea plant or garden pea plant? Because this pea plant has a lot of uh, advantage over the rest of the other plants. For example, this pea plant has a short generation time to grow quickly uh, within a, uh, three months and again it's easily accessible and again cheap. And the other one the pea plant naturally they are uh, self-pollinating plants they have a both a male part and a female part so they can self-pollinate each other uh, and also can be controlled in a cross uh, pollinated the other the other mm, just advantage of uh, pea plants they have a lot of different contrasting traits a lot of different uh, character. So that's why Mendel chose this uh, pea plant over the other uh, plants, other plants. So he did a lot of several several uh, experiments to explain the mechanism of the inheritance. Uh, so first he used, he used uh, as a first step, he identified seven different uh, Trees of pea plants, seven different trees of uh, pea plant with 14 variety of that means seven pairs of trees with that 14 variety. So what are those seven different trees of uh, pea plants? There is a uh, seed shape, seed color, pod shape, pod color, flower color, flower position, and plant heads. These are the seven trees. That Mendel identify uh, for his experiments. So these seven trees, they are, they have a con they have you know they are in pair. So those pairs are contrasting trees. For example, uh, that when you see the seed shape, there is seed shape round, there is seed shape wrinkled, there is seed color yellow, there is seed color green, there is pot shape uh, with what we call it uh, blinted smooth and there is a pod shape with constricted there is pod color with yellow and there is pod color with uh, green is green there is flower color with purple there is flower color with white there is flower position with uh, the axial and there is flower color with terminal on the top of the plant the axial one is in the middle there is no flower on the top of this plant, so there is flower position with uh, axia, there is flower position with terminal. The plant head, there is a uh, pea plant with tall, and there is pea plant with short. So totally, these are 14 varieties of character that's uh, showed by one species called pea plant, or one plant, one plant. Okay, so. Then after the second stage, Mendel he allows to you know uh, crosses or breed the round with round, wrinkled with wrinkled, yellow with yellow, green with green, implanted with implanted, constricted with constricted to check the purity of that uh, plants. So finally, um, he end up with a pure, 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 pure uh, round, pure yellow, pure green, pure wrinkled pure 
those uh, trees. Okay, so as an example, let's just use uh, one example. <clears throat> that's an example out of the seven contrasting trees. The when the pure tall cross within the pure short or dwarf, the result according to experiments, according to Mendel's experiment, the result uh, was the tall, which is you know, hybrid tall, which is hybrid tall. So all those seven trees, uh, when the round, cross with wrinkled, yellow with green, and the result genotypically, mean when you explain in the in the internet when you explain the internet composition of that organism we write you know <coughs> the uh, symbol for example the round with wrinkle is round with uh, r capital r small y capital y small d capital d small g capital g small p capital p, p capital with p small a capital with s a capital with s small t capital with p small these are the genotypic uh, expressions of that organism, the internal composition of that organism. And phenotypically, the physical appearance uh, for our capital R small, we call it round. For our capital R capital, we call it small, again round, because round is dominant over that of the wrinkled. Again, here, tallness is dominant over the shortness or dwarfness, so the result is tall. Uh, the drink beauty crosses. The two parent, the pure tall and the pure short are called the uh, parental generation. So the result is called F1 or fi first filar generation. In F1, the shortness for one of the parents disappeared. That means the shortness disappeared or hide themselves. They cannot express themselves because they are recessive and the tallness is dominant. So it appeared as uh, a tall. So this can be also explained by using a table form called Punnett square. This Punnett square are used to show the composition of the organism. So here the tallness is represented by T capital T capital, and the shortness is represented by T small T small. Because always we write capital letter for dominant and a small letter for a recessive. So when the T capital T capital crossed with small T small T small, then the result will be this. T capital crossed with T small, result in T capital T small. T capital uh, crossed with T small, result with T capital T small. So all of them are T capital T small. So to explain this, this is the, what we call it F1 or first filer generation. So here, to explain this in, in the form of internal composition and a physical appearance, we have to use genotype and the phenotype word. Genotype, all of them are T capital T small. Phenotypically, all of them are tall. So when the other one, uh, when F1 crossed with F2, the result will be F, uh, sorry, when the F1 crossed with F1, the result will be F2. So here, uh, we can use again the um, table, which is Punnett square, to uh, just see the, what the result. So this is uh, what we call it, the combination of uh, two. So when the T capital crossed with T capital, result is T capital T small, sorry, T capital T capital, and when the T capital crossed with T small, the result will be T capital T small. Finally, the two will be obtained. So uh, this can be also explained in the form of genotype and phenotypically. Genotypically, there is uh, one, two, that is two T capital T small hybrid, and there is one uh, pure tall and one pure short. This is what we call it uh, genotypical composition. And phenotypically, three of them are tall and one of them are short. This also can be expressed in the form of percentage. That means 75% of, of the result is tall and 25% of the result is short. This is all about uh, today's uh, video. Here, there is some question just, just that you have to do by yourself. So the first three questions are here. And the first contain ABC, the second ABCD. 
and uh, the server is just by self question with many uh, asks. So the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. So this is just for you. Please do it by yourself.